To meet the growing need for on-the-spot color coverage, CBS Laboratories Division was commissioned to design and develop a versatile, compact, mobile color television unit that would provide unprecedented mobility with operational flexibility and comfort for truly in-depth coverage of remote events. What you are about to see is the result of our development efforts. The unique blending of the latest advances in solid-state electronics and human factors engineering. In short, a mobile unit designed by broadcasters for broadcasters. This is the nerve center designed for compactness, precision, and reliability. Accommodations and equipments are provided for a full color television staff, and it is here that they can achieve a degree of creative flexibility never before possible in a mobile unit. And this is the hot seat, the director's chair, from which a busy director, along with his assistant and TD, will spend hours coordinating men and equipment for the best possible TV programming. Before him, he has complete command of all working cameras and direct audio communications with all operations personnel, camera crews, remotes, and an RF communications link to the home office. Monitoring sequences can, of course, be easily altered to suit his personal style of working. All special effects are on board and can be punched up by the technical director with controls conveniently located within easy reach. All facilities and operations have been designed for maximum physical comfort. For example, a unique feature has been built in to ensure this comfort. The walls of the forward section of the operations van expand in a matter of minutes from a normal width of 8 feet in the travel mode to a full 13 feet for its operation as a control center. This lever raises the floor sections to fill the expanded area giving you that sometimes much needed elbow room. Directly behind and slightly above the operations console, the audio engineer sees exactly what the director sees. Facilities here start with a complete panel for 12 individual inputs, which can take signals and route any one or mix several prior to feeding out on the air. Several monitoring loudspeakers are also provided and are switchable to any phase of audio activity. Facilities for audio effects are available, as well as equalizers for control of quality. Six audio jack fields handle 18 microphone inputs with four audio and six utility outputs. Any signal, as well as a test signal, can be routed as necessary and amplified to drive high-powered remote speakers. Another example of almost unlimited flexibility. The control panel is built to handle twice the present audio capacity. Complete audio communication is maintained between production crew, camera crew, the auxiliary van, and any remote location such as the tape room. Next is the video area, the ultimate in design for precise, reliable operation with network studio control standards and efficiency. The video section has facilities for one, two, three operators. They can, with the specially designed joystick, remotely control iris and black level for each camera. Color is maintained to a built-in standard with the paint controls and the video operator can establish isolated communication with any member of the camera crew. Two color match monitors and a program line monitor are located here, and color tests can be punched for viewing any remote input. By simply turning in its chair, the video operators can trim the cameras for proper registration. Each of the three slide-out drawers contain operator control and registration panels for two color cameras and were reduced from 20 inches of rack height to 3 inches. Almost all of the equipment is transistorized, representing the latest advances in solid-state electronics. Servicing is simple, and all units are easily accessible. 
permanent test signals are always available. Color bar, crosshatch, grayscale, as well as a standard one volt source against which all signals are calibrated. All video signals are routed as necessary through the video patch panel. Here you see the comfort temperature controls and the unique safety alarm system indicators immediately signal the presence of a short circuit anywhere on the mobile unit. Circuit breakers are provided for all equipment. Panel meters provide a constant check on the operation of four voltage regulators physically located under the left rear of the van. A rotatable antenna can be easily mounted atop the van for off-air television reception. Built-in ladders are located on each van rear door for access to the roof, where crew members with the use of an electric winch can raise and lower cameras and equipment with maximum safety and minimum effort. The van can be operated from either single phase or three phase power. Additionally, setup and breakdown can be accomplished with only 110 volt house current shore power. The van is capable of simultaneously operating six color cameras with an expansion potential to eight cameras. For wide ranging coverage, there is control switching capability for up to 11 cameras and this can be expanded for 23 cameras. Also located in the power input area is a second safety alarm system with visual and audible short circuit indicators. All of the panel doors are fitted with side shields for added protection during foul weather operations. Three cable access hatches are conveniently located along the left side of the van. Incidentally, all outside panel doors and hatches are fitted with key locks. The van is designed to plug into existing phone lines anywhere for actual transmission. Below the panel on the right forward side of the van is a complete telephone exchange that controls 11 phones located throughout the van and gives operations personnel five private lines and five business lines. These vans are powered by large V8 gasoline engines and ride on heavy duty air suspension systems to allow complete mobility on or off the road, virtually anywhere in the country. Fully adjustable bucket seat, power steering, and automatic transmission assure that the driver arrives refreshed and ready for setup. The cabs are air conditioned and contain an RF transceiver as well as an AM radio. Let's take a look now inside our auxiliary van, a sort of behind the front line supply and maintenance depot. Storage is provided here for cameras, microphones and booms, amplifiers, and almost three miles of cable. Also contained in the auxiliary van are two maintenance benches and a maintenance desk, as well as all spare parts needed for normal maintenance. This van also contains a viewing room and can accept portable film and tape origination facilities. In case of foul weather, the vans can be joined back to back and sealed to function as one weatherproof installation. Well, Mobile 2 was through with its assignment here and is almost ready to roll. The vans you have been looking at are actually CBS Mobile Unit Number 2, now based in Hollywood. They have already originated 10 NFL games, the Rose Parade, the Super Bowl and the Pro Bowl, indoor and outdoor track meets, nine championship golf matches, and have traveled thousands of miles with no air time lost. While you have just seen the type of color television mobile unit developed for the CBS television network, CBS Laboratory stands ready to address its unique broadcast experience to your individual requirements.